Hello and welcome to my studio. Uh, today I'm going to be doing a studio painting of wild foxgloves taken from several reference shots that I took last year um, when we were allowed out and about and there was no coronavirus to worry about. Um, so I started by drawing out the foxgloves that I wanted to portray um, and then masking them with masking fluid and then I worked on a fairly wet in wet um, wash over the over the stretched paper uh, adding various colors in an abstract way I was trying to suggest a large tree behind um, which would form a dark backdrop onto which the contrasting bright flowers would sit um, so having established a few background washes I'm um, now taking off the masking fluid, just rubbing it with my finger. The interesting thing is it removes a lot of the drawing that I'd done, so uh, it was easy enough to redraw some of those details in, but uh, a little bit annoying, so be, a war be warned of that one. Uh, you can sometimes remove some of your drawing and some of the paper if you're not careful. So anyway, I'm just redrawing. The paper was fine. It wasn't damaged at all. Just redrawing some of the finer details in those fox gloves. The one in the foreground, I'm keeping that fairly free and abstract. So the real centre of focus is against the dark area, the central um, foxglove. So I'm starting to work on it now, as you can see, uh, which is the most detailed area of the painting. And uh, that's where the most contrast is as well. And um, there's quite a lot of experimental paintwork in this piece. so. It will evolve and go up and down as such expressive watercolours can often do. Um, I've got a hint of a building there in the left hand side that was in the background of some of the ref shots that I had and a fence on the right but um, I'll pull and push these things until I arrive at something that I think is working visually. So you can see now I'm suggesting more foxgloves in the background in an impressionistic watercolour way. Just brushing them in and trying to get some of the foreground details um, suggested. Then working more on the main features as well. Pulling and pushing different areas, so hopefully gaining some kind of overall balance and feel to the painting. Then using a smaller brush to put in some of the highlights, the smaller details of the foxgloves, which are the main centre of focus. This is the sort of painting you could go on forever with, painting grass stalks and flower heads and all kinds of things, um, which can work very well, but I wanted to keep it quite free and more about watercolour effects and the contrast between something painted fairly de in detailed way and a very free background. Um, so that was the main idea of the painting rather than doing every grass stalk and making it hyper real. Um, it's more about the paint and realizing an idea in paint. So I've used some washes of transparent white watercolor, not gouache. It's white watercolour, a bit of spattering, added a little church in the right there and um, I think I'm leaving it at that folks so I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe and I'll try and get more done as we go. See you on the next one.